The first step of implementing the software key system is to include one of our many licensing clients inside your software, which is then distributed to customers. This allows you to control who is entitled to use your application. This video will demonstrate one of our most popular licensing clients, Instant Protection Plus 3, which adds the necessary licensing controls with very little effort on your part. In addition to the easy to use standard licensing functionality, with some minor effort, you can implement more advanced licensing functionality through the use of the Instant Protection Plus 3 API. We have created a demo application that allows you to quickly evaluate if the main features of Instant Protection Plus 3 satisfy your license requirements, or if another more powerful software key system licensing toolkit should be evaluated. The same licensing features demonstrated here can be applied to your own software by your development team. In addition to this video, there are written tutorials available in the online manual that will walk you through the use of the demo application. The demo application download and online manual links are listed below. Jumping right into it, when launching the demo application, the licensing business logic automatically checks the license status on the local computer. If this is the first time the software is run, it can start a free evaluation period. You can see that our licensing dialog is automatically prompted at startup with these available choices, and you can customize the image, options, and some of the text. In this case, the customer can choose the Evaluate option to access the software. I'll click on this now, and the application will open. The standard functionality of Instant Protection Plus 3 allows your application to run or not, depending on the license status. On the Standard Features tab of this demo application, it simply has some reference links to assist you in evaluating. Additional licensing features are highlighted in the API tabs, which allow you to display license information or access license functionality from within your application. These are optional features, as relevant license information is also displayed in the license dialog at startup as a standard feature. When I close the application and reopen it, I will again be prompted with the license dialog, and it will be updated based on the license status. Once the evaluation has expired, the customer will only have the option to purchase a license or to activate. With the standard features, you can issue non-expiring or time-limited licenses. The entire process of electronic license activation and management can be automated through our central license server, Solo Server Automation. Customers can purchase a license through our optional integrated e-commerce, or you can also generate licenses as needed through the Solo Server Author Interface. For the easiest evaluation process, the demo application is configured to use our pre-configured Solo Server test account. You are able to access this account by going to softwarekey.com, the menu Login, Manage Solo Server Account. This brings you to the login page for our hosted Instant Solo Server shared URL accounts. Use the credentials Test and Test for the user ID and password. Once logged in, you will see a set of menu options at the top. To create a license, use the menu Customers Add a Test License and you'll see some of the available license types that start with Instant Protection Plus 3 Sample. Choose the one-year license and press the Add New Test License button. A message box will be prompted and simply states that test licenses are for internal testing purposes only and are deleted at the beginning of each month. Click OK to continue. This will create the license using various settings that have already been configured. It will also generate a unique license ID and activation password. These are the credentials that a customer will need to activate the software, which they can do at any time with an internet connection. I'll split the screen into the perspective of a customer and the perspective of the software publisher, which we will call the author. Launching the protected software again, it will show the option to activate in the license dialog. Choose this option and then choose the Activate Online option which will prompt for the license ID and password. In the author interface, I can see that there is one activation left on this license ID before the activation attempt. After entering the license ID and password, I can submit the activation request, and it is validated immediately online. Since this license record didn't have customer registration information yet, you can optionally prompt the customer to enter their details. I'll enter some registration data and press Continue. The software is now activated and registered. In Solo Server, I can refresh the page to see that the registration details have been updated and the activation left count has been decremented from one to zero. 
This means no additional activations will be allowed using this license ID. I will be able to access the software for one year, and when I open the software, it will silently check the license status in the background without prompting the license dialog. You can enable a warning message that lets the user know their license is about to expire, and the demo application does this seven days before expiration. You can generate licenses with more activations, or add activations to existing licenses if you want to allow your customers to activate multiple computers or users with the same license ID. Simply press the plus button next to the activation's left count to add an activation. When using solo server automation, it is possible to securely deactivate or revoke an installation, which allows a customer to transfer their license to a different computer. A deactivation will disable the software on the current computer and increment the activation's left count in Solo Server for the license ID that was used. With the standard functionality, your installer can create a shortcut that calls your application with the slash deactivate command line parameter. To demonstrate, I'll simply create and run such a shortcut, and it'll prompt a confirmation for the deactivation. After choosing yes, it will confirm that this installation was successfully deactivated. When I run the software again, it is indeed deactivated, and I can see that there is an activation available by refreshing the license details page in Solo Server. In this case, I'll simply activate the same computer again. Remote deactivation is also supported in case the computer that needs to be deactivated is no longer accessible. This is useful if the customer's computer crashes or is formatted, as they can regain use of that activation instead of being given an extra activation. Back to the license details page in Solo Server, I can use the drop down Activations View Activation History. I see the two activations that took place, with the first one being deactivated. Under the Actions column, I have the option to deactivate the top installation. Remote deactivations are enforced by requiring the licensed software to periodically validate with Solo Server. To save you time, your customers can log into the Solo Server customer license portal to self-manage their licenses and even remotely deactivate a specific computer's license. This portal is also useful for many other self-service functions, like accessing downloads or purchasing maintenance renewals and software upgrades. This covers the most common license requirements. A customer has an evaluation period, purchases a license and activates the software, and then has the option to securely transfer the license. Implementing this functionality is just a matter of configuring settings using the Instant Protection Plus 3 Wizard interface and Solo Server, and then applying the protection to your software. With just a little more effort and some simple coding using the Instant Protection Plus 3 API, Additional licensing functionality is at your fingertips. When I run the demo application and go to the Common API Features tab, I am able to see license information as well as the license status, access license management functionality, such as reprompting the license dialog or initiating a license deactivation, and I can also see that certain features are currently disabled with this type of license. The software key system gives you the flexibility to license your application by features so that a wide range of customers' needs can be achieved using a single build of your software installer. In this case, I am running in trial mode, and I can see that there are three disabled features, which is also shown as disabled in the menu options. To enable these features, I will activate with the pre-configured feature-based license in Solo Server. I'll use the menu Customers, add a test license, and choose the Instant Protection Plus 3 feature-based license. I'll activate with this new license ID and password, and you will see that the feature status has changed in the Common API Features tab, and also in the Features menu. The local license file is updated during the activation process, and you can add source code to check a parameter in that license file to conditionally enable or disable whatever functionality you want. In the All API Features tab, you will see a list of functions and fields you can use. In this case, the Modules bit field was used to determine which features to enable. Next, I'll show how the API can be used to deactivate the software instead of creating a separate shortcut like we did earlier in the video. In this case, the functionality is initiated through a deactivate button, which calls the deactivate installation function and prompts for a confirmation. 
The software is immediately deactivated and the license record is updated in Solo Server. Overall, this demo application shows a simple example of using Instant Protection Plus 3 and Solo Server automation to license a Windows application. For more detailed instructions on evaluating these various features, refer to our written tutorial topics in the Instant Protection Plus 3 manual. You can download the free Instant Protection Plus 3 trial and apply the same licensing functionality to your own applications. You will use our wizard interface to choose the functionality you want, and then either wrap your application or call the Instant Protection Plus 3 DLL with a few lines of code, as detailed in the manual. Once you confirm our solution meets your requirements, we recommend purchasing our Protection Plus Automation Package, which includes both Instant Protection Plus 3 and a hosted solo server automation account. Please contact us if you have any questions or need help getting started.